I got pulled over. I was intoxicated and had a lot of cocaine in my in my truck, and I encountered my very first arrest. And I went down to jail, and I had arrived in a place that I said I would never go. That's Michael Moulton, AKA M to the Rock, opening up about his journey on I Am Second. It was only the start of what would lead him to hitting rock bottom. He's here to share how he overcame and bounced back. Hello, Michael. Good morning. Good morning. So excited to have you. There it is, there's holdover. That's where it all go down before I see the judge. And then I'd walk in here. <laughs> So we're all, this was the decisions made. Um, I'm done, I need help, but I don't know how to do it. Can you help me? Because my way is not working. Never drink or do drugs again. What made you end up feeling or what happened? What happened? Well, as a recovering addict, we, we say these things that, you know, I'm done. Mm -hmm. I'm never drinking, I'm new, never doing drugs again. And I really meant it. And then it took another 26 mug shots for me to hit rock bottom and to realize that uh, that Christ was all I had because he was all I needed, yes, you know? Yes. And, and that's where it took, because the pain got that bad. Wow. Drunk and high and I uh, got arrested. You know, I got a mug shot and I'm like, oh wow. And I didn't reach out to God or anything like that, but I said, I'm never doing this again. I've become that guy I said I'd never want to be. And I got drunk and high that night. arrested 27 times, which is almost astonishing when you hear the number. And so what about serving a long-term prison sentence really got to you? Well, what it was is I, I finally realized how to do easy time and, and, and I, I learned how to live in the now. Mm -hmm. And as I was living in the now, I, I learned how to serve other other inmates that couldn't read or write. Yes. So I was reading to them um, and I realized that time slowed down and it put me in the safest place in the world, which is right here, right now, because that's where God's at. So I was serving them by reading to them, expecting nothing in return. And as a result of that, the entire tank came closer and closer together and we were doing church. I was sitting in jail and two man tank. And an old man comes in there doing life for murder. Um, you know, said, hey, will you read to me? So I read to him. I read the Bible and my life changed forever. A couple days later, this guy comes in and, and he's being charged with arson and murder and all that. And, and he has this book and he says, I can't read, you want this? And it said Detours by Dr. Tony Evans. And when I was reading it, it was a story about Joseph. And I said, whoa, I can relate to this. This is me. I start reading this book and it talks about the things that confuse me, why things happen and how we use that for God. It's making sense to me. And so I got up one day and I shared what I was reading out of the book Detours and the whole tank came together. This world is waiting for a generation of godly men who will work from the bottom up, personal, family, church, community. If you're a messed up man and you have a family, you're gonna help make a messed up family. You must say, Lord, before you, there will be nothing more important than the reason I have been created. Work will now be submitted to following Christ. That my family will now be submitted to following Christ. I will fear God. I will take God seriously.